Kickoff may not happen for the Drake at High School football team this year. Right now, they only have 16 players. And just 24 hours left to get more teammates. As WBZ's Laura Hafley shows us, this is actually becoming a nationwide trend. New right now at 11. We've all heard of Friday Night Lights, right? Well, Drake at High School's football field might be this dark for the rest of the year. With roster numbers dwindling, their season might be over before it even begins. Amy Anello's son Logan was looking forward to playing football for Drake at High School alongside his big brother Connor. And it would be great to have, you know, see both last names out there. But that wish may not come true. Drake at High School doesn't have enough players to fill the team roster, and it's putting their season in jeopardy. It dwindled to, you know, a bleak number of about 16. Neela Richardson and other team parents tell WBZ they've spoken to school administration about possible solutions, including inviting charter school students who live in town to play for the team. But we weren't really given any clear answers. The decline in football participation is not just an issue in Drake it. In 2022, the National Federation of State High School Associations reported the participation in boys 11 player football was down 3% nationwide. Parents in Drakeit blaming health and safety risks as a reason for the decrease in players. Since COVID, you know, things have changed and things start to come to the forefront of, you know, head injuries and concussions. Research conducted by Boston University found that 40% of young athletes exposed to repeated head impacts from sports who died before age 30 had chronic traumatic encephalopathy, more commonly known as CTE. The study's co-author, Dr. Dan Danjavar, found football was the main culprit. Your brain doesn't care what hits it. So if you're getting repeated hits to the head, you're at risk for developing CTE. I mean, yeah, of course that plays a role. Parents are parents. They're going to try to protect their kids. But parents say they'll continue to fight for the season off the field while their kids get ready on the field. We did reach out to the athletic director. We did not immediately hear back. In Drake it, Laura Hafley, WBZ News. Laura, thank you.